What's up, Stripe Nation? Blake Alberts here with B&B Lawn Care. It's a beautiful day here in Kansas City. It's a weird day. It's like a little bit foggy, but it's going to be nice. It just feels like fall time now. But we're doing a little bit of mower maintenance today. This mower, the throttle cable, uh, needs, we're just going to switch out the throttle cable. It broke. Literally, there's like where this little, there's like a little hook up here that the throttle cable hooks into, and a little tiny metal piece broke off making it not work so that's cheap i think it's like 25 bucks to fix it and uh this we just need to sharpen the blades real quick and uh then go back to mowing so i'm going to show you guys how we do this is just a little bit of maintenance and uh then next week hopefully we'll be getting airbags for the work truck that's the next order of business because we got to put on oh, i've been hinting at what we're putting on the work truck but that's for another video Let's get this maintenance done. This is the classic Super Jack. A uh, ton of people have been picking them up, loving them. They're just so simple. Like, I can't believe that it works. Every person that sees it is like, how in the world does it do that? I don't know either, but they're super awesome. Super jacks. You can get 10% off BB10. Ballard-Inc.com. Links in description. I mean, that's awesome, dude. That thing is so sweet. All right, so we're, we're just killing a couple birds here. Doing the blades on both the mowers, scraping the decks, and replacing this throttle cable. Literally super easy. It's a super inconvenient thing that just happens. And like I kind of said... You know, it depends on if, where you start your PTO. This is just what I've heard. I, I don't know. I'm not, this isn't fact. But I've heard that where you start your PTO, like full throttle or whatnot, can, uh, you know, wear the throttle cable more. I, let me know if that's true in the comments. I don't know, but that's just what I was always told. Super inconvenient, but super not big deal. Um, yeah, like I said, cheap. Pretty easy little process. It's gonna take probably five or ten minutes to fix. So first thing is getting it off of there. A weirdly inconvenient spot. You got to take off the nuts uh, under this front part here, and we have a little tiny ratchet to do that. So just uh, pull that handle down through, and then there's gonna be like little eyelets like this one. You're gonna have to unscrew whatever one of these just follow it down and i think it zip tied as well maybe so we're just gonna have to feed it uh unhook it from here and feed it through all these eyelets and zip ties all right so basically what you want to do there's like these little weird hooks on the end of these throttle cables you put it in and then kind of bend it and it just attaches and then we're just feeding it through the eyelets again all the way back up and then what we'll do is take this, angle it, if I, if I can see, okay, angle it there, pop it up, and then screw it back in. Gonna need to adjust the throttle cable a little bit. When Tyler was doing it, it was going up really easy, going down hard, and wouldn't stay all the way down. So what I did is I loosened this up right here, had him put the throttle all the way down, and this black part will slide back, then just tighten it in that position. And once it's tightened down, then you can move it full throttle and back. And that's kind of how you reset it, is just have it in the total down position with this loose. This black part will slide back, tighten it up in that position, then it should work how it's supposed to. All right, Tyler is gonna work on scraping the deck, the most fun part of lawn care, right Tyler? Yep. <laughs> but yeah, it sucks, but you got to do it, man. It, it uh, helps the airflow, which helps lift up the grass blades, which helps get a better cut and a better stripe. So it's got to be done. And I'm going to sharpen the blades. Welcome to my messy garage. This is the All-American Blade Sharpener. Man, I have tried so many blade sharpeners. And I cannot find one that I love. This has been something that I've used for years now. This is how it's supposed to operate. So you have this little arm here 
that hooks that your little grinder here hooks into basically which just helps you keep the same movement and so basically it helps keep the movement and the angle to a perfect angle and then you go up and down your blade like that uh, this is a different kind of wheel somebody actually told me to start using this which is more of like a sandpaper wheel that I have been using uh, I don't know for this year basically um, and I just kind of got the motion down pat so I really don't even use this arm too much uh, it does help and it is fun but this one isn't hooked into it so uh, basically That's it, super sharp. Let me know what your guys' blade sharpening techniques are because I really, like, dude, I love, like I think, what's, I don't remember which one Brian has, like the R something, whatever. They're like super expensive. I really want one of those, but in time, in time. Um, but they do look sweet where you can just run the blade like that. This is more like, I started with literally doing it in a vise with a hand file. Then I started doing it with this grinder. And you know, this is kind of my 2.0 little blade sharpening setup. Hopefully I get one of the big bad blade sharpeners here. I don't know, maybe next year. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Dude, look at the Super Jack store so easily right under a mower. Like, dude, this was just a brilliant design. No matter what anybody says, this thing is awesome. Secondly, if you don't know, snow shovels are the easiest way to pick up the stuff you scrape under your deck. Right into a trash can. One, two, three. Don't overthink it. If I had a broom, it'd be even better. But it's on the trailer. Alright, so just did a quick morning hour of maintenance, sharpening blades and things like that. Listen, like with sharp blades now, we're going to go faster throughout the day. The yards are going to look better. The customers are going to be happy. By taking that one hour, you have to do it. I know in the mornings it just seems like a waste of time, but it's not. And you gotta schedule, the, the best analogy is you gotta schedule a time for maintenance or maintenance will schedule a time for you. You gotta take care of your stuff, man. I know we're all, listen, we're all busy. We all are. Every lawn care company is busy, okay? But the successful ones, the good ones even, are scheduling time for maintenance, so. Guys, you gotta get it done. You just have to do it. I know it. Uh, it's not the most fun thing. I've never enjoyed maintenance. I'm not mechanically inclined, to say the least. Um, but I can still do minor things like a throttle cable, where I don't have to go drop off a mower for three or four weeks or whatever. You know, I think Coleman would get me in quicker. But you know what I mean, like. Stuff like that is a 15 minutes where hopefully if you didn't know how to do it, now you know how to do it. 
just from watching this YouTube video. But, uh, and I also, so I got that analogy of why you gotta do maintenance, but let me tell you another analogy for people like me that like are, are kind of tunnel visioned when you're doing certain tasks, which can lead to like negative thoughts. I said don't, like when I was scooping up all the moldy, wet, nasty, wet dog poop grass, I said don't overthink it because don't overthink that step. Just scrape the poop deck, get it off the ground, put it in the trash can, and be done with it. Like, it's not a big deal, okay? And when you're doing certain things like that, you gotta know that you have a plan to be successful and that's a one little stepping stone to a part of your success is doing things that you don't wanna do, okay? Helping Susie, maybe you didn't make as much profit as you wanted to on Susie's lawn. You know what, so be it, dude. You've gotta get it done. That's just the way and if that's the stepping path to your success, it's the stepping path to your success. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just saying, hey, get your maintenance done, be positive, be happy, and uh, hey, at least you've got a, a business that has equipment that needs to be maintained. That's literally how I run my days, dude, is hey, at least I have clients that, that blah, 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 whatever the problem is, okay? At least you've got it, man. At least you've got a problem. At least you've got something going on and uh, I think that's a good way to live life so we're gonna go get some work done today I hope you guys have a good day I hope you're killing it we're freaking killing it I appreciate everybody dude go save 10 10% 10 off of uh, ballardashing.com get yourself a super jack those things are sweet get some Cujo shoes whatever dude like people are grabbing it up people are saving money people are supporting me my family my channel everything is just good dude so love you guys all and uh, that's it peace out have a good day